Culture Days by Arts Milton. I am so excited to be creating this tutorial um, to show you how to create coasters using resin products. Just wanted to share what resin I am using. Resin is by Arts Resin and I'll talk more about it and my process today um, during the tutorial but I hope you guys will find it really simple and will get inspired to create more resin coasters, resin products, resin anything. Um, and I just want to get started right away and then we'll have more of a conversation during the entire process. My name is Nargis. I am from the Instagram handle at behind my art or you can actually check out my website nargisnakvi.com. It should be in the links below and let's just get started and we can have our conversation during the whole process. Thank you. So the first thing is what do we need? We're going to need gloves, resin, even though the ones I use are non-toxic. They do recommend that anything that is obviously with made by chemicals, you should have gloves on, you should protect your eyes, um, your clothes, it might drip on it, it won't get out, so make sure the clothes you're wearing are something that you can definitely, um, you know, keep for just art. The other thing is molds. You're going to need some molds. I ordered, um, I have a lot of these um, Coaster molds, I have tray molds, I have different types of molds. I also make my own molds to the shapes that I want uh, using silicone, but we're not going to get into that. It's a little bit of a 102. We're doing just a resin 101. And yeah, your molds have to be clean and I need to actually clean some of the stuff that's uh, residue from before. What you're also going to need is a bunch of cups. Small little cups are easier to put your colors in. and. Um, a measuring cup or I generally use this disposable cup and I measure to the top um, with the resin and then again to the top with hardener and mix them together in a bigger um, you know jar like this a measuring cup like this so you're gonna need that you're also gonna need some popsicle sticks to stir you don't need to use popsicle sticks you could just have your disposable cutlery at home if you want if you have too much of that I just find this to be cheaper and it's easier, it's consistent. And then of course your mica powder. Mica powder is um, it's a little bit of a shiny powder. I think some of you might know that it's used in making soaps, making in your makeup, um, eyeshadows and stuff. And you're going to just need whatever colors you have decided for that day. You could also use some stones and glitter and things like that on the side. and. We can go into that. The other option, if you don't like the shiny mica powder, is alcohol inks. I have alcohol inks from different locations. I keep trying them from Amazon and all these other brands, um, and you'll have to find the one that works best for you. And of course, some paper towels that you can use to clean up, um, or a rag to clean up in between, because your hands do get a little sticky and dirty while using resin. So let's get started. Okay, so one of the things that I forgot to mention is that you should be wearing a mask and I get really claustrophobic so I can't really wear the mask that they recommend but I do have an N95 at hand so I will slip that on real quick before we get started and what I did is I already poured out my resin. I hope you can still hear me through the mask but yeah, I poured out my resin in the cup because it's just easier for me to do that. This is the resin. And I'm just going to pour it in here and scrape it all out. Resin doesn't have a lot of time for you to work. It starts to get hard in about, you know, a little bit over 30 minutes or so. All the resins are different. Some of them give you a little bit more time but then they also dry out in a little bit extra time. So um, there are different types of resins, things that you can use for things like coasters and stuff. You can also give a nice shiny um, look to your artwork, your paintings. It looks like glass when it dries. It's really nice. Um, and I'm gonna just give you the hardener here. I'm gonna mix them both. They were both filled to the brim. Generally, if you know what you're making, so let's say I have six coasters, you would want to measure out how much liquid is going to go into each coaster and that way you'll know how much resin to take. I don't do that because I'm not very good with 
doing anything except art on the fly. So unfortunately, I if there's any leftover resin, I just take out another mold, pour it in there, make another poster or a tray or whatever I want to make. You can actually check out a lot of my stuff online, um, especially on my Instagram because I keep posting there. And uh, if you're in Milton, we're doing, or even in Halton actually, we're doing um, a studio tour on the last weekend. Uh, if you go on my um, Instagram, you'll get some details. It's by Fasm, F-A-S-M dot C-A, and the studio tour, I'm in studio number 11 with two other artists. We're about 45 artists that are um, opening up their studios for you guys to come and check out, purchase, whatever you want, prints, resin pieces, artwork, sculptures, jewelry. Okay, so now we've got everything in here and we're gonna start mixing. And this actually, this process actually takes about three minutes of non-stop mixing. You cannot go under three minutes. It will not mix and it will not then harden properly. You will get a sticky resin. One of the things to uh, pay attention to are bubbles. Now, you don't want bubbles in your resin poster. And the harder um, you mix it, the more bubbles will come out. But there is a solution to that, I have found, because, you know, going real slow like this, it's just, I don't think you still get bubbles, in my opinion. So I guess just keep mixing, keep mixing, but then I'll show you what to do with the bubbles. You will need something to pop them with. When I just had started, I was using a blow dryer, but that's not the best way to do this. I got a heat gun, and I also got a blow torch that you'll see me using. Um, to pop those bubbles out. Okay, so one of the things that I do want to do is use glitter today. And free promotion for Mrs. Colorberry Glitter, but you can get any actually. I just went to the local art store and I loved some of the gold drizzle luxury collection that she has. And it doesn't give me the color that it is. Yeah, gold drizzle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit with a clean popsicle stick and I'm gonna put a tad bit in the center of each coaster. Now the coaster still doesn't have any resin, okay? So we're just putting a little bit in the center So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my, my stick again um, that I used to stir the resin in and I'm going to real quickly just drizzle on top of this so that it kind of sticks. Otherwise when I pour the resin in, it's going to sort of fly everywhere. I mean spread everywhere, not fly everywhere, but you'll see. that's just sitting there for a bit I am going to mix my colors and today I'm going to use white here we have it and I have this little when you order little tiny mica pigments you're gonna have a little these little spoons or whatever you want to call it come out spatulas very tiny mini, mini, miniature ones so I'm taking a few of those I want it to be white I don't want it to be transparent so I'm gonna pour Okay, three of these, let's try that. And I'm gonna give a very tiny touch of gold, not too much. I do not want a lot of gold, I just want. All of these products are found on Amazon. You just need to write Mica Pigments for Resin and you'll find them. Um, but honestly speaking, I find some of the really good stuff in our local art stores. I realized that I have six coasters and I'm gonna need a lot of white, so I'm actually just going to pour it in the larger cup instead, the resin first. I'm eyeballing it right now. I can always pour more later. We do wanna work a little fast just because of the, the time restraint I told you. Uh, I try to get done within 30 minutes. I don't want it to get hard and lumpy on me. <clears throat> Okay, so let's see what color comes out. I'm probably going to need more mica pigment. It does not look like it's enough to make it white. But it's a really nice, pearly, shiny white. Um, I find, I really like the pearly mica look. 
Now, does that mean I don't use alcohol inks? That's a completely different type of look and that there's a lot of benefit in using the alcohol inks as well. And maybe I could do another tutorial with that and show you what I use that for. Mix it really well so there's no, there's no powdery stuff there, okay? All right, so a little bit translucent. So I do want a little bit more um, white on there. And so I'm just gonna take this. Just gonna put maybe one more scoop of that here. Or maybe two. I think this looks good. What I'm going to do now is just set this aside for a bit and I'm going to mix some resin in the gold that we did. <clears throat> so I'm mixing this and it looks really transparent to me even though in the cup it's a beautiful gold. I don't know if you could see this but the popsicle stick has a beautiful gold on it. But I am going to have to mix a little bit more, even though I want a very subtle touch, not too much. Um, but it should at least look like gold and not like a light beige, right? A gold should have its shimmer and everything. And this is a beautiful gold, actually. Okay, so it's not thick. It's not trans. It's not opaque. Um, if it was opaque, it would be too much. And I still do want a little bit of a subtle touch, so... Here is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to just put this in the center around here like that. And see if I'm gonna need more later, okay? this all right <clears throat> pour 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 let's start from the outer edge oh this white is so beautiful I love it don't go all the way to the top of the mold just leave a little bit of room because in the end, when it all dries out, I do put another clear coat of resin, very little, on top just to finalize, make it a nice um, shiny surface. torch on it so I'm just gonna clean my hand again sometimes I used to forget to clean my hands and all my equipment would have resin on it which is not cool because it gets real stuck okay so now I have this torch here I think people who make cream brulee and things in the kitchen would might have it So we left a little bit of room in some of them and if you were to pour just clear resin in the middle just a tad bit you would spread out the center a little bit and it'll kind of look cool when it dries and sets. Perfectionist or not, I do do not want it to go lopsided. Is I am going to put um, a popsicle stick here, just so that it's so that it's not flowing to that side. I want it to be a little centered, like it, all of them. It 
should be okay now, hopefully. Please do shoot me a message on Instagram at Behind My Art. Follow me, subscribe to Arts Milton's YouTube channel, but also follow me on Behind My Art. That really helps with so much. Um, you will get some tips and tricks in the future. And don't forget to go on Arts Resin's website and their Instagram page and order from them if you are planning to create your own resin pieces. Thank you to Culture Days. Thank you to Arts Milton. Goodbye.